actually we have expended around 2 to 1.5 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh rupees behind this project but we can also execute this at much lower costs with another type of designs the operational maintenance cost is around rupees 400 per month and it comes to around 7 to 8 dollars and the setting up cost the construction cost is around 3500 dollars so once we can set it up villagers can easily maintain it at the cost of 5 to 8 dollars per month Regular tests are carried out in laboratory every day to ensure that the arsenic and iron content in water remain well within World Health Organization guidelines. We are in the lab analyzing the four uh, water parameters that is uh, arsenic, iron, conductivity and uh, the pH of the water. There are many conventional methods which can be used for removing arsenic from groundwater. The most common one is pump and treat method, whereby you draw water, treat it, and then make arsenic-free water for public consumption. The typical methods are either adsorption-based or membrane-based. Adsorption-based methods use some kind of adsorbent, typically iron-based adsorbent, which bind to arsenic when you pass water containing arsenic through that kind of bed. But the difficulty is from time to time, these beds re need regeneration, capacities are limited, and also it's difficult to know when arsenic is not really being ad absorbed onto the bed and is breaking through through the bed and becomes really hazardous for consumption. The other method is relatively more sound, at the same time is more expensive. That is membrane-based method. In membrane-based method, we pump the water through polymeric membranes, which remove arsenic. Nevertheless, this is expensive, and the main problem is fouling of the membranes by dissolved iron. In our method, we are neither using membranes nor adsorption-based systems, but what we are trying to do is converting the dissolved arsenic which is present in water into insoluble form so that it goes back to the soil it came from. The main advantage is there's no sludge for disposal, no chemicals ever used for the process, and the adsorption capacity of the soil is enormous. So therefore, we are not talking about a small attachment, which is adsorption bed, but we are talking about converting the ground water system to an adsorption-based system, which where the arsenic deposits on the soil. The technology is so easily adaptable to any bore well or tube well that it can be converted with a minimum cost of few thousand Indian rupees to a plant which removes arsenic at no cost virtually for many, many years. <laughs> পরিবারের সবাই খাচ্ছে আমার গ্রামের সবাই খাচ্ছে তাতে আমরা আগে চাইতে একটু ভালো মুড মনে করছি তবে ভবিষ্যতে মনে হবে এর থেকে কিছু করা যেতে পারে জল খেয়ে বুঝি মোটামুটি ভালো এই জল হাওয়াতে নতুন করে বাচ্চাদের গায়ে যাতে না হয় বড় তো হয়েই গেছে আমার সাবে কিনা সে উপরওয়ালা জানে আর এই জল খেয়ে অনেকে উপকার পাচ্ছে এবং এর নিয়ে অনেক আলোচনাও হচ্ছে আসলে মুক্ত জল তো সবাই চায় বিষ খাবো কেন আমরা যদি আসলে মুক্ত রোগ রোগ আমাদের সারে বিশ্ব আমরা কিনে খাবো there are many funding agencies which are looking for appropriate technologies which can be easily be embedded in the communities and I believe this is such a technology uh, which would be very attractive for any financial agency or even funding agency to support because this is chemical free, waste free, absolutely green and 
requires very minimum cost of operation or even maintenance. Our heartfelt thanks goes to the Secretary Maharaj, Swami Nityananda, the Registrar, Mr. Sushil Bhattacharya, the ex-Registrar, Mrs. Angona Dutta, who was the main catalyst in engaging the RKVM IS in this project. We also convey our regards to Dr. Bhaskar Sengupta of Queen's University, Belfast, UK, who is the chief advisor of this project. And also to all the partners who came together to make this project a great success. We also like to congratulate the villagers and the common people who donated the land and stretched their cooperative hand towards us to make this project come successful. The work conducted by the mission in the two districts at Nodia and North 24 Porgonas are just the beginning. To rid us of the demon of arsenic, operation of this nature will have to embrace all other arsenic affected parts, not only in West Bengal, but in the rest of the country as well. There lies our salvation.